when mixing the concrete, concrete countertops. Mix. It's best to follow the manufacturer's recommendations on the back for a good starting point. The quickcrete countertop mix that we used said it called for eight pints of water for every 80 pound bag. So that's what we started with. We used eight quarts for the two bags we had in our mixing trough. On the first batch, we realized that eight quarts wasn't enough. So we kept track and counted and ended up taking 13 and a half quarts. And then that way we knew when we were mixing up our other two batches how much water we needed. So the mixing process went a lot faster. You will want to make sure you count out how much water you use precisely in the first batch so you can just replicate that for every other batch that you need to make. We have chicken wire zip tied to screws and the heads of the screws are still sticking out a half inch above the plywood. That way it'll raise up the chicken wire so it's about halfway in the center of the concrete countertop. You want to make sure it's up off the bottom of the plywood or whatever you're using for a substrate. That way we can see where we're at, where our load pops out. Go back. 
back, put some in the low spot, right. squeeze it again. Yeah. I figure the more times we can squeeze it, the easier it's going to be to work it. Yeah. When we got close to the edge and we knew there was going to be a bunch of waste, we used the trowels to shovel it back over to the low spots and we just kept going back and forth and screeding the countertop. We did that about four or five times. Screeding it all in one direction worked out awesome. Thanks Nick for the idea. Make sure you have something on the end of the counter to catch the extra concrete that's going to come off when you are squeezing. I think I'm ready to screw it if you are. We did the whole surface I think three or four times, maybe more. That it all worked out. We've let it set a few times. I've gone over it with a float. Now at this point, I'm gonna keep working it with the trowel, the float, whatever you want to call it. You get some of the water to keep coming off the top and keep rising up. I don't want to just let it dry in place and leave a film. I'm gonna keep working it, smoothing it out as we go. Whether it's right or not, I don't know. We'll find out tomorrow we take the phone. gone over the countertop now probably about 10 times with the float just going back and forth trying to get all the lines out and getting a lot of the water off the top the milk that keeps coming to the top um, the more I've been working it the better it gets I'm happy with it at this point it looks really good nice and flat there's a few imperfections a few minor lines I think at this point if I leave it as long as it doesn't get too much more water on the top I'm gonna leave it then I can just sand out the lines and polish them out. When you're working it, give it time to set up and keep going back and forth, floating it and going on. Huh? Started about eight o'clock this morning mixing. It's now 11.30. I think we got done pouring around 8.30. So it's been three hours of letting it set, working it, set, working it, getting the water off the top and going back and forth. 
You definitely want to make sure your floors are covered and protected the best as possible. We've had our mixing trays down on the ground, catching some of the water. The other, one of the things I did, and I should have done it from the beginning, is I have a little bit of cardboard, so I've been putting it on the edges where I've been wiping off and floating off all the water. That way if it falls on the floor and it's not getting in the tray, it will get in the cardboard. We had some splash up residual effect here. You can see it here. I washed it down a couple of times. I gotta do it again with clean water. Wipes off the paint pretty easy. But next time I would plastic the whole thing. We did like a rosin paper and then a tar paper. The tar paper so the water doesn't soak through and you have something good for the concrete to sit on. Then you can scrape it off and it's not gonna fall apart. I did cardboard on top of that. I should have put the cardboard down sooner. I really like that. We got a little bit on the floor. The concrete whips off the floor pretty easy. Shh, don't tell my wife. She wouldn't want to hear it. So it's between me and you. Don't let her know. So it is coming out nice and flat. I'm liking the way it's drying. It's looking good. I probably won't touch it again. We'll leave it alone. I'll have to keep an eye on it and make sure it's not drying out too fast. If it's drying out too fast, I'll take my spray bottle, squirt it down here and there. But it's looking good so far. I'm really happy with the results. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you right back here next time when we take off the forms and we get to see what the countertop looks like all dried up.